Accounting for corporations retained earnings. Retained earnings represent the component of the shareholders' equity arising from the retention of assets generated from the profit directed activities of the corporation. The basic source of retained earnings is profit, distributions to shareholders of cash, property, or stocks from unrestricted retained earnings on the basis of all issued and fully paid shares and all subscribed par value shares except treasury shares are called dividends. Okay. Yung retained earnings is dito nakalagay ang lahat ng income ni corporation. Kung baga, pag in natin yan through accounting entries. So, yan. Mag-sample tayo. So, for closing ng income statement accounts, debit revenue, closing entries to ha, debit revenue, credit expenses, then yung profit would be on income summary ayan kung ganito yung itsura ng closing entries profit then itong income summary is ikaklose naman sa retained earnings so debit income summary credit retained earnings ayan ganito yung nagiging analysis ganito yung analysis niya kapag true kapag true accounting entries Sa retained earnings, nakalagay ang lahat ng profit ng corporation. And dito, ito yung pinagkukunan ng tinatawag na dividends. Dito, kinukuha sa retained earnings. Ang dividends is ito yung distribution sa shareholders. And ang dividends can be a cash, pwede rin siyang property, or pwede rin additional stocks. from unrestricted retained earnings. So, lahat ng dividends is dito nang gagaling or dito kinukuha sa retained earnings. A debit balance in the retained earnings account resulting from accumulated loss is called a deficit. Okay, kanina, through accounting entries, nakita natin kung paano pumapasok ang profit sa retained earnings and what if losses yung entity. Kapag naman loss yung entity, possible na maging positive balance or maging debit balance yung retained earnings. And kapag naman debit balance yung retained earnings account, yun yung tinatawag na deficit. Normal balance ng retained earnings is credit dahil diyan lahat ng profit. Kapag naka-debit balance ang retained earnings, that is deficit. Retained earnings may be restricted or appropriated and unrestricted or unappropriated. Okay. Sabi, ang retained earnings may be restricted or appropriated, meaning, retained earnings may be, ano, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin for dividend purposes. Kaya siya restricted. Or kapag unrestricted naman or unappropriated, meaning, free yung retained earnings na kunan for dividends. Dividends. Dividends may take form of cash, property, or additional shares of stock of the corporation. As a general rule, any form of dividend declaration should be based on the total subscription of a shareholder and not merely on the shares already paid. Subscribers are considered shareholders on the time their subscriptions are accepted. by the corporation and not from the time they are issued stock certificates. Okay, ibig sabihin lang nun, ang subscribe shares is entitled sa dividends. As a general rule, any form of dividend declaration should be based on the total subscription of a shareholder and not merely on the shares paid. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga subscribe shares is entitled sa dividends. Bayad man siya or Hindi. Fully paid man siya or hindi. Sama siya sa dividends. The declaration and payment of dividends in full, three important dates. Okay, yung mga dividends laging merong, merong mga dates na involved. And usually, ito yung mga dates na <coughs> involved 
sa payment ng dividends. <coughs> Date of declaration, the board of directors will adopt a resolution regarding that a dividend is to be paid. Legally, declared dividends are obligations of the firm. Dividends to be paid become liability on this date. So, ibig sabihin, sa date ng declaration, ito na yung point na kailangan mag-record na ni corporation ng liability para sa dividends na i-distribute sa mga shareholders. Dito na magre-record si corporation ng debit, retained earnings credit payable account or dividends payable account. Date of record, a list of shareholders entitled to the declared dividends is prepared at the date of this record. No entry is required on this date. So ito naman, date of record, nandito naman ang lahat ng shareholders na entitled sa dividends. Meaning hanggang dito lang sa date of record, yung mga shareholders na makakareceive ng dividends. Kapag ang date ay beyond date of record, hindi na yun kasama sa mga shareholders na makakareceive ng dividends. Date of payment, the corporation settles liability on this date. So, ito na yung actual date of payment ng dividends. Illustration, Santiago Corporation's Board of Directors declared a 750,000 cash dividend. Okay, yung dividend, it can be cash, property, or shares. And this time, ito sa illustration, cash dividend. On September 1, 2019, payable on October 1, 2019 to shareholders of record, September 15, 2019. Prepare all appropriated entries needed. Okay, ilagay natin yung mga dates na involved. Declaration of dividend is September 1, 2019. September 1, 2019 Date of Declaration And ito yung point na kailangan mag-record na ni corporation ng liability for dividends September 1, so debit Retained earnings at what amount? Yung amount ng dividend, 750,000 pesos. Credit, dividends, payable, 750,000 pesos. Okay, na-consider na si date of declaration. Next is, date of record. Ang date of record dito is, September 15, 2019. So, lagay natin dito, September 15, 2019. Date of record. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin ng date of record na yan? Ibig sabihin, lahat ng shareholders as of September 15, 2019, yung entitled sa dividends na 750,000 pesos. Kapag nagkaroon ng shareholder ng September 16 onwards, hindi na siya entitled dito sa 750,000 pesos na dineclare noong September 1, 2019 dahil hanggang September 15 lang yung date of record. Yung mga shareholders lang ng September 15 or yung mga shareholders lang as of September 2019, 15, 2019, yung makakareceive ng 750. And kapag date of record, no entry is required on this date. So, dito is no entry required. And last date na involved is October 1, 2019. The date of payment ng dividends. Date of payment. Date of payment, therefore, the debit na natin yung dividends payable liability account. Ang dividends payable ay liability account. So, nagkaroon na ng payment ng October 1, so the debit na natin yung liability account na dividends payable 750,000 credit cash. 
750,000 pesos. Bakit cash? Dahil cash dividend yung dineclare ni Sanjago Corporation nung September 1, 2019. Prepare all appropriated entries needed. So, nagawa na natin yung journal entry for declaration. Sa date of record, walang entry na required. And sa date of payment, may journal entry na required. 